hey guys welcome to digit.in and uh, we have with us Sanesh who is going to quickly uh, run us through some of the key features of the creator update with Windows 10 so why don't you show us what the new update is all about okay so uh, with Windows 10 uh, creators update we've got a new we've got a lot of cool new features for productivity and for uh, consumers and you know accessibility one of the great features that we have is in edge you know, we'll start with Edge. Edge being one of the great, uh, the new uh, browser that we have with Windows 10. And one of the great features in Edge is ability to set aside a lot of tabs that you're working on, which means, let's say you're working on a task and you are, you're opening up a lot of tabs and you want to switch to another task. What you do today is you go to each tab and you then go and add them to favorites one by one. Whereas we now have an ability just by a single click, I can just click here, which says set these tabs aside and it'll just set all these tabs aside for me, which means I can now work on something else. And if I want to switch back to the original work that I was doing, I can come here and I can just click on restore tabs. Once I click on restore tabs, now it is time saving, plus gives you great accessibility, plus gives you the single click button, the easy option to just do set everything aside and start working on something else. Now, uh, do these tabs get saved if you close the browser as well? Yes. Okay. So yeah, if it, they, they stick uh, once you close the browser. And I can now, I also have a great ability in addition to restoring the tabs, I also have the great ability of sharing these tabs. So let's say I'm now worked upon a great deal and I have now saved these tabs and now, now I want to share it with a friend. I can simply go here and they share tabs. And when I click on share tabs, it just opens up my mail app and I can open up a mail app, go to whatever mail account I want to use and send it to my friend. And that basically what I do today is just open each and every copy and paste and that saves a lot of time for me rather than copying and pasting. And again, if I want to restore them, I don't have to go back to favorites and add them one by one. Single click, set aside, single click, restore. Okay. Single click, share. Okay. That's great uh, ability. Now, uh, once I have the restore tabs here, I also have the ability to actually preview. There's an option called right at the top right hand side, show tabs preview. What this option gives me is the ability rather than going to each tab, highlighting the mouse cursor there and looking at what it is, I can simply go here and single click, again a single click option, makes it easy for the user, makes it user friendly and gives me that option. And uh, next thing we have next enhancement that we have made is again based on the feedback that we have received from the v previous Windows uh, versions of Windows 10. Uh, again, uh, people wanted to uh, get more personalization uh, options for setting up the background color, for setting up the you know the themes and all that stuff. What we have done now is we have now given you an ability to give you that control back to the user on deciding how his background will look like and how what kind of colors schemes it will be now that the cool thing about this color theme is that I can now go here and I have an option to select the recent colors because I normally move between five or ten my favorite colors are rather than going through thousands of the colors that are there in in the original option in addition to that I also give the user also have the control on deciding on the level of accent that color will have that's basically at the RGB level that I'm going that's the pre more precise and you know more customized and that again that's more personal to the user making it unique. right making it unique so and the cool feature is that what I do today is I select a color scheme and it gives me a preview but what if uh, I select this scheme, which is not, which may not have the great uh, accessibility for a lot of fonts. I am proactively telling you as to what it may look like, rather than you doing it first and then being reactive and going back and you know saving time for you. Okay. So that's one thing. And then in themes, we also have the themes to bring um, you know th all those favorite themes that we have been using. The cool thing in Creators Update in Windows 10 will be the ad ad ability to get the themes from the store. Okay. which is one of the trusted ways of getting your most favorite themes rather than going on to some other locations and you know um, that's one stop shop and one of the most secure places to get your themes out. Another um, cool aspect about Windows 10 creators update will be the ability to install apps. All of you, all of us, our parents, our family, they go on web and then uh, knowingly or unknowingly we sometimes install apps which are not from trusted sites and then we end up uh, having malware or maybe trojan or viruses on our machines now security being the hem of everything that we do in windows 10 which includes applications also 
what we do with applications or what we are done with applications is given you the control on from the source from where you can get the applications which means I can go to settings and again everything I have, I have made it easy for the user to decide what would be the source of my application you want to allow any apps and again you want to warn before in installing an app so if if, if a my parents are using and uh, using my machine so they don't have to worry about I don't have to worry about they might accidentally or by mistake click on something which may not be sound or secure so now I'm keeping everything at the hem of it so that makes it more secure another um, thing is that this becomes easy it's you don't have to go and you don't really have to be advanced user to set it up it's just very simple to use um, another cool thing that we've added in creators update is ability to troubleshoot some of the common issues that we face now having talked about Windows 10 and the Windows as a service which means the ability to improve and continuously upgrade Windows with latest security features latest um, you know uh, productivity features uh, security being the number one priority plus stability we have made Windows stable with the largest driver base that we have however still just in case if a user gets into some kind of you know faces some problems maybe with sound maybe with network or with video we have made it super easy for the user to just troubleshoot some of the common issues that he may face that they may face with their machines and we have categorized it in so easy in such an easy way that they don't have to go through a lot of tabs and you know uh, find out whether that option exists or not everything is on one screen and it's very simple so for example if I am facing some issues with speech you know I don't have to go and search on web and maybe call my friend and you know maybe call support so I can save a lot of time for the user and makes it absolutely easy for him by just clicking on speech and run the troubleshooter where he can do a lot of basic tasks whether the you know uh, I cannot expect a lot of you know if he's not a power user we cannot expect him to go to sounds and control panel and a lot of settings this has made it super easy I can just select what microphone I have answer few simple questions and I'm done it will actually fix um, issues for me and you can see that it takes hardly less than a minute to uh, get the fixed fixed okay. done with Windows 10 creators update another cool feature that we have added is all of us use computers and most of us actually use computers at night mm. and we all know that any gadget that we have they emit blue light which mm. is scientifically proven that it is not it actually prevents your mind or your brain to shut down during um, so go to rest and stuff like that which can impact your sleep so what we have done in Windows uh, Windows 10 creators update is we have given you this ability to actually turn on night light mm -hmm. which means I can open settings I can go to settings and in fact to make it absolutely easy for the user um, I can actually set check check this option from the notification from the action center also but I can just go to night light and of course mm. you know I don't have to search through a lot of options here it's super easy for a user to just search what he wants go to night light settings and he can just turn on night light setting now which actually opens up or transforms his uh, machine to a, you know with a cool temperature and you know gives a good uh, background light which is more much more soothing to the eyes and does not impact the sleep Right. Okay, and, and so just for people who've probably experienced a uh, night mode before, it's similar to what they have on their phone when they switch correct. on night mode, but now it's coming to Windows it's coming 10 to as Windows well. So right. it'll be available on all laptops when they're sitting in bed at correct. night and reading on their laptop or surface. Or correct. Any other uh, device running Windows 10, they can do exactly what they do Absolutely. on their phone to have a much more uh, comfortable reading experience. Absolutely. And then on top of that, we also give you the ability to make Windows, Windows makes decision for you by scheduling as to what are the times that you want the night mode to be on. That ability actually gives that edge uh, where user does not have to go and do it. Windows will do it for you. Um, now, everybody is aware of what Cortana is. So Cortana is not something which is new in Creators Update, but the, the integration of Cortana with Windows is what we have made cooler, which means uh, now Cortana has ability to actually tell me how much RAM do I have on my machine. It basically checks my system settings. It also has the capability to lock my PC. Cortana also has the capability to r remote, I mean, uh, enable me to configure my out-of-box settings when I'm setting up my PC to um, to give answers I can help Cortana to configure my uh, PC uh, for me okay. so these are some of the cool features that we have added how much RAM do I have on my PC 
of course you need internet for this and it basically tells me checks my system connectivity and uh, system settings and tell me how much ram do i have so these are some of the great features and great accessibility features then uh, what we have is um, windows defender security center being security at the hem of everything again what we have done is we have enhanced the capability of how we can ensure the security and the safety of our device how secure is our devices by giving you this option called windows defender and we know windows defender is a built in anti virus anti malware that we have sh we are shipping with windows 10 and we have a new cap new option here or mm. i will say a new cool feature here which is called windows defender security center mm. once you click here it opens up a new console and gives you on the face of how secure your devices is it protected means what is the health how is the virus and threat protection working how, how is my wire firewall configured and stuff like that it tells you everything on the by these green check marks tell mm. me up give me a confidence that okay my device is secure mm. plus it gives me the option of selecting and controlling this is something which is new in defender which is um, ability to control my how my family will use this computer mainly the parental controls means how uh, what all websites i can allow my children to go what time they can actually go what are the good screen time habits and stuff like that so this gives you that control and at the same time that flexibility of deciding when how where your users your other users can use this pc plus makes it more secure for the computer because you are also giving um, the option and deciding let your kids buy the appropriate games and apps from the trusted sites so trusted when it locations. says just appropriate is it going to give you an age restriction or can it give you a budget restriction like can i allot a budget of let's say 5000 rupees a month to buy games and uh, stuff like that for the budget and for selecting who all will be part of your family you just have to click on view family settings and you will see you can add family members and of course you can add uh, once you add the family members it gives you the ability to define their uh, budget as well you can okay. set the limit on how their lim how much limit they will have and stuff like that the one of the great things that we have done is again empowering the creators inside all of us mm -hmm. you know uh, we have been using this application called ms paint since childhood and we have been you know creating a lot of uh, paints and you know graphics on top of it but we now have a new capability here in terms of a new app called paint 3d mm. this app will come as a part of windows 10 creators update and once i open 3d paint 3d it gives me the ability to make like normal sketch so i can just draw uh, just do a normal drawing here and just let's say this is a house and I'm just um, again just trying my hand with drawing for the first time <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, I can just open it and you know create some drawings and you know select the colors and gives me the ability and gives me a cool uh, real life brush experience mm. now what I've done is um, I can now go ahead and give a 2d aspect to it mm which means I can now, as if this canvas or this sketchpad actually exists. Mm. This is more of a 2D part of it. Now with regards to 3D, what I can do is I can come here and I can just go ahead and start a new project. And uh, let's say I create this object. I can just give a 3D touch and feel to it, mm. which means I can just create my own images. And again, again there is the sky is the limit as to what all things you can create on that. Um, I can just draw pictures and I can go to paint and uh, select on the color and I can just do some cool stuff onto it and um, you know I can just have a look and I can just move it up and down and have a 3D effect and the good part is that I can actually use these, um, these objects that I've created with other Microsoft applications like PowerPoint. I can just add them, bring them live, and I can do animation on PowerPoint, and you know, make, makes makes it more interactive. The presentations that I make makes it more interactive with the 3D in place. Now, when you drew on the surface, it was essentially you were drawing on the plane. But can you rotate it and draw it on the other sides of the sphere as well? Yeah. So you. So have you can to actually go. draw it on all aspects of the 3D side. So what you need to do is, yeah, if I click here. And okay, yeah. so now I can come here so and you can, I can rotate draw. the object. So yeah. essentially, uh, if you were making a round object, I could actually draw my version of a globe as well and make Correct. it completely 3D and show it from all perspectives. Correct. Okay. So the sky is a limit, as I said, and of course you can turn it around and you can define the uh, the space between how how much space it will have between the the cardboard and that 3D object that you are making. Okay. And of course, I this is 
so what we saw what we saw was making a normal picture and then turning into a 2d mm. uh, picture now and creating your own 3d image and using it with microsoft applications we also have a store we call it remix 3d mm. which has the built in set of uh, 3d images in there and you can just go ahead and use uh, again this again we we keep on adding more and more 3d images to it and you can just these are some of the preloaded images and i can just create a project and add that image here and again the sky is the limit as to what i can do here and um, can users themselves contribute to the store with their 3d creations or is is there a separate process for that uh yes they can actually add so let's say i've i've, I've done a great job by creating a 3d <coughs> image and now i want to share it with the community or share it with the user i can actually upload it okay to 3d and i can share it with other um people or by using twitter or facebook or something this okay. is again um, that i can do things with and uh, last but not the least we have made enhancements with the gaming that we have on windows um now the objective here is that we have been using windows as a productivity device as a as a consumer device and people are as an in education and healthcare but we also want to bring the uh, the platform wherein a user can use gaming mm. for his personal use as well as for productivity for his official use all in one device that capability is there mm. what we have done but in order to achieve that objective we have brought this concept of game mode mm. so if you go here into settings there is this new option called gaming and game bar i can just come here and there is an option called game mode mm. what it does it's like more of a turbo boost that i can enable where it can it's more of an operating system setting this this option enables the turbo boost which channelizes all the resources in terms of cpu memory and your video graphics power into the game mm. which means you can you get the best gaming experience mm. all you have to do is turn on game mode open a game and there is this option if game is set up for game mode there will be an option to set uh, to enable game mode and uh, you can actually get that great experience of playing a game setting aside the rest of the uh, uh, the resources and uh, everything will be uh, channelized towards that game okay so for game mode to work with uh, legacy content like older games that came out a few years ago mm -hmm. the developers have to patch them or does this take so care of that so anything that is available on xbox store and microsoft store can work here but right. if let's say it comes from steam or any other ea store so they will have to upload it to okay, store so they will have to enable it in their side enable in their side okay. and you know make it available um so that development effort is definitely there and we respect that um but from windows side the platform is ready mm -hmm. and uh, the platform gives you the flexibility of using the single device for your productivity or your consumer related effort plus for your gaming and you in to. in your testing how much of a difference have you seen uh, in the Uh, performance of games and the hardware that it's running on with the help of game mode like so, an optimized game like let's say gears of war or forza which are first party games for microsoft correct so for we have tried it um, i personally play a lot of forza here and we just demonstrated that as well so with forza with game mode on it i'm not bothered about how things are going at the back i mean I, um, for me the priority is to get that game experience so it gives me a great gaming experience with uh, a, a, of course if you have a, a device with a dedicated network card it again is going to help and enhance that experience that much more thank you cool. so much for this thank, thank you, you sir